Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Elwin playing Factorial and Subspace Trading Network. Uh, boy, I got a, a couple of priorities that I really need to get get done. Um, so this is fantastic because uh, eventually all of this, um, as you can see on my map, I've got this giant section of construction warnings, um, and those will fill up eventually very, very slowly. Um, so one of the bottlenecks there is the petroleum um, I'm sorry the sulfuric acid that I need for the batteries which is slow because I really don't have any petroleum gas because I only have two wells the two wells in my starting area are the only two pump jacks that I have working right now um, so I, I really need to do that let's do that right now how many are there? there are so the nice thing is the robots cleared out a bunch of easy robots. Uh, I'm sorry, the robots cleared out a bunch of easy fighter bases, so uh, I'm in a pretty good spot. I like this. Those are all really close together, and I bet they're very, very rich. So uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, eight. So I'm going to make eight pump jacks in my pocket. My steel has started trickling. Why is my steel having issues? I've stolen a bunch of steel. That doesn't explain why we are having problems. I think that is exactly why I was having problems. I've just used a lot of steel lately. So it's going to behoove me to get some more smelting up and running. Um, maybe even make a whole train station uh, just for steel. That seems like a fine idea. Ooh, concrete, because I'm concrete crazy at times. Okay, so I need two more, perfect. And then what am I gonna need? Well, I need a crap ton of steel to make... <laughs> oh, steel is probably all going straight into this. That's not helping anything either. Yep, completely dry. Um, so I need barrels. I need a lot of barrels. Um, Just gonna make a ton of barrels here. That's a hundred seconds of my time. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this instead. There. Okay, so that's a lot of barrels being created. Uh, 170 or so. Uh, unfortunately, they only stack to 10, I think. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, so next I need to make the train that will go. And part of making the train is going to be getting more track because I really don't have a ton. I can only carry 500. I can already see that the train station that I've set up is going to be pretty limiting. What? All right, yeah, whatever, cool. Um, so that's what, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's... That's good here. Uh, shoot, I do need something real quick though. Oh, I don't have any signals. Yes, I have tons of signals. Yeah, that's not necessary, is it? All right. Um, so what? This is whatever, whatever, it's, it's gone. That's what matters. So, okay, I've got eight pump jacks. That's fantastic. Oops, 
Um, I also need another locomotive. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not dealing with research at the moment. So this is... What? This will be... Oh, I've already... Luckily, I've only been running iron, but both of these are called depot. No, that's all called iron depot. So this is called depot, and that's copper depot. Jeez, all right. And that's farl. Yep. And this is oil. It's not really a depot, is it? It's just a drop-off. Okay, so... Oil. Um, so it's based on cargo tankers. Cargo wagons, excuse me. I go snag some resources. I don't have space for any resources. Oh gosh. Um, let's limit this to that many. So I don't need that many right now. A convenient trash box. Drop those in there. Drop that in there. I'm just gonna make this like a long-term storage chest. Who cares? So I need all of the steel. I need all of it. Not only do I need a train, I also need... It's going to be enough iron. Uh, I need some engines. Just enough for one train, so 20 engines. That's 8, 16, and 20. Okay. So I can make the locomotive now. And I can make a cargo wagon. I honestly think one is going to be fine, but I will get two just in case. Yeah, I can, yep, yep. Oh, shoot. Where did my locomotive go? Oh, that's bad. All right, full stop here. Um, that was really dumb. All right, I have to get rid of some of this garbage. I'm really screwing myself because I am not paying attention. Lost a locomotive already. Not good. And that guy could be anywhere right now. Okay, picked up everything as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so scary. Not scary scary, it's just really stupid. Oops. Really, really dumb what I just did. Okay, everything is good. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy in Factorio, for sure. So, I need some steel plate. Okay, we have two cargo wagons and one train. Train goes down. Cargo wagon. Cargo wagon. This thing needs all of my rails. It's probably not even going to be enough. But that's fine. Um, sure, one more big electric pole. Oh, yep, of course, I just dropped off all of my train tracks. And all of my signals. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Okay. Now everything looks good. Everything's green. Everybody can go. You need a little bit of fuel. And so your first stop is Oil Depot. So, oops, uh, inventory empty. That's not true either. That's going to just have to stick there for a little bit. All right, so I've targeted this section uh, for oil extraction. I think I'm going to take my train down here and then just go straight left. All right, Farrell, let's do this. So we're going to turn off maintenance. We'll place poles. I'm going to stop here, hop out, and grab some more train tracks. Now that I actually have a little bit of inventory space. Thought it was important. Okay. Oh yeah, I did a dumb thing back there. I didn't power all of my assembly machines that are creating uh, my barrels. So it's actually right up here. But I want to make this... start going that way. Because I'm sure there's a fancy junction that I will be able to make. That's not it. Uh, yeah, that was totally wrong. Okay, so that's that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. And then another chain. And just for good measure. We'll set that down here. And similarly, just may as well prepare for it. Chain chain, chain, and signal. Okay. Yes, perfect. Maybe not perfect, but good enough for right now, right? And now we start. Now this is what Farrell was meant to do and not do maintenance mode garbage that I struggled with earlier. So there's one. Not a rail signal. Okay. So essentially, I'm not doing anything with this. I am. I'm going to make this loop back up. Oh, this is so much easier with robots. I need a ro personal RoboPort. That's going to be a nice thing to have, of course. So I've got a few more trees to cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the... Um, I don't know if I want to call it a loop, but it's kind of a loop, right? It's a loop with a purpose. And power actually made it the whole way, which is incredible. 
So I'll come back through here at some point and pull up all of those. Um, another thought, we're pretty far out on the frontier here. Uh, biter base right there. Just probably get some guns. Or go clear them out myself. Because I'm going to start polluting. Not right now. I've got to come back uh, after I place all of these buildings and then build up the infrastructure that's really needed to support the oil process. How big are these wells, though? 359, 321. They're decent. They're going to get me pretty far before they start to, to dwindle. Where's this other one? I am right on top of it. Okay, and I also forgot that I needed a boatload of pipes. Didn't even think about that. I don't know why, but whatever. So, um, I guess I've got to go back. I guess I do. We have power? We have power to the poles. So I did that part, right? No path. Okay. Oh, uh, that's probably the turn, right? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So part of that challenge is complete. Um, part of it. But now I can take my oil train down there and be pretty happy with that. So I want to do a wood inserter and a stone inserter to take stuff out. And the wood really can just be, well, let's do a passive provider chest here. Really should be an active provider chest. And that should be an active provider chest as well. Um, so chests for that. And then, you know, obviously I need to get some robot coverage up here, but that's fine. Um, and then I need to have... Straighten out Farl here. Oh, we're taking stupid stacks away. It's not that stupid. It makes sense. So let's see, chain signals, regular signals and chain signals, oh my gosh. Alright, if I can figure my brain out, this will go a lot smoother. And then what do I need here, I need some big poles. Need lots of big poles. Um, let's make one for a station. Uh, 
Yeah, I am going to need another cargo wagon, aren't I? Need another cargo wagon for the trash, essentially. Okay, so I'm distracting myself already. Um, well, I've built it, so I may as well place it. So this is... wood. Which means I have to move those inserters now. And then this one's stone. Okay, whatever. I'm holding on to that. So what do I need? I need, well, I need more uh, assembly machines because I only have two. And I need, oh, what's that? That's more iron in my copper. I'm always going to have to keep an eye out for that. Yes, just drop it all off, please. Damn, I have a lot of... <laughs> Look at that, 194 logistics robots just a couple episodes ago. I had, you know, just a handful, one, five. So that setup works really efficiently, and I think it's very, very good, uh, even a long-term solution. Um, okay, so now, well, now it's 23 minutes into a video, so I'm going to stop here. Um, think about what I need to do next so I don't hum and ha and um all over the next video. Uh, it's probably going to happen anyway, but whatever, I'm going to try it. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me on the next Factorio Subspace Trading Network, of which there hasn't been too much subspace trading. We'll get to that, I promise.